Theoretically, the stream should start shortly and people will be able to hear me. Let me know if the sound's okay. Because I was messing around with sound settings. Not to make them better, but possibly to make them worse. So let me know. Not like sound quality, but like actual volume levels. Uh, okay. Of the creation process of... Watch There we go. That link should work. I like that all of my streams start with me putting the stream on Twitter. Because it's awesome. That link should work. Okay. Now I actually don't know how well this is gonna work because of course I'll have to eventually narrate the uh, the audio for the video, but we'll see how it goes. So, essentially the first thing I do, for those who are curious, is I record the, the footage first without any sound, and then I narrate after the fact. So, um, so I'm just going to be narrating, I'm just, you can talk to me and like I'll talk to you guys and stuff, but essentially what I'm going to be doing for the first part is just, wa is just walking through the steps, and, uh, and then later I'll go in and narrate them. So, uh, let me just get everything, make sure I'm set up, that I've got some gold. Uh, that I'm on the right character. I am. Awesome. Okay. Let me get over to the right area as well. Yeah, no problem saves. The Undermine Journal is really useful. A lot of people, even, even though pretty much everyone knows it exists, a lot of people aren't aware of some of the features that like are on it and they don't really use it to its fullest extent. Neither do I, but I like to be able to rec recommend it to other folks. So, okay. What's the dwarf dance? Should I start this video dancing? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, okay, so we'll start the video dancing. I use Fraps to record the footage for m most of my videos. Sometimes I use Debut if I'm recording the desktop or something that's not a single instance of WoW. But I'm going to use... Uh, use fraps for this. So let's get started on recording the video. The first part of the video is all I always take a significant amount of me just staring at the character because I always tend to underestimate the amount of time I need to intro the idea and so I'll end up like suddenly jumping into all the action before I'm ready to explain it. So that's why I do such long takes of me just chilling here dancing is to have something to look at while we're uh while we're opening into the video. Spe spooky! Yeah, I always kind of feel bad when there's people just chilling in the channel, because I'm like, I'm about to scare the shit out of someone. Oh yeah. Alright, that should be long enough. So, now I'm just kind of going, going over the, how I'm going to narrate the video in my head to make sure that everything's timed at least okay. So, in case you can't tell, this video is going to be about dust of disappearance. So, okay. I know it seems kind of weird just seeing like a side, like without the narration, but it'll all come together in the end, I promise. A lot of people, I mean, I don't know, my production values are pretty low, so I'm sure some people won't be amazed at how little effort actually goes into the videos, but I usually just toss them together, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> do do enough time to explain in video if I need to. If not, I always just can speed up the video if I need to make it shorter. It's a lot harder to make something shorter. Sorry, it's a lot harder to make something longer than it is to make something shorter. So I take longer takes of pretty much everything so that I have room to work with rather than having to speed up just to fit with the video that I took. Okay. So, oh, I still need to be at the auction house. Let's see here.
Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm not talking too much. I'm just uh, focusing on what's going to be in the actual video once it's done. I actually haven't done with this market in a while, but I was thinking, what's something that's relatively simple that isn't, that most people, I mean, not everyone has a scribe, but that it's pretty simple for people who do have the profession to do it, like disenchant scans and stuff. One of the things I've been trying not to do, though I haven't exactly been succeeding with these videos, is trying to make it so that it can apply to general gold makers, not just people who are really into add-ons and shopping lists and stuff. And I know the last one was shopping list importing and stuff like that, so I want to try and make sure that I get some of these uh, more simple ones in there too. Okay, so that's all the that's all the footage we need. So now it's time to do the editing of it. Um, okay, so I edit my videos in uh, Corel Video Studio Pro X3. I know it's not it's probably not one you've heard of, or at least not a lot. I know a lot of people use Sony Vegas and stuff. I've used Corel for Corel's different software. It's not this particular uh, thing, but like their photo editing and stuff since I was. 13. Um, actually, if I count their word processor, I've used Corel since I was like 9. So, um, so I like Corel. I'm, I'm used to the way, you know, the terms they have for different features and everything, so that's why I use Corel. Even though it might not, it, uh, it might not afford me the same tools that everyone else uses. So now it's time to just take the footage that I recorded and, um, get it all put into the video properly. So first we open a template. I this, I have the starter right, for all of my videos as templates so I don't have to worry about timing or anything. Vlog stuff, nerf fades, video templates, short gold rush template. Okay and then I need to remember to do this for once which is the, the little ding ding for the auction house at the beginning, the actual audio file is incredibly loud. So I always have to go in and remember to lower that down. And so far I haven't forgotten, but it's only a matter of time. So now I'm going into my files and finding the videos that I just shot, which is here. Okay. Then we plop it down there. The video right now, if I didn't edit any length, is actually... Okay, that's five minutes. I'm like, there's no way it's under 50 seconds long. That's five minutes. So, but it's not going to be nearly that long once it's finished. Because certain things will be shortened, certain things will be removed. So, like, okay, so that's all zoomed in. So let's cut off the bit that's not. Okay. So now I do the first run through of narration to try and determine whether or not I can just narrate it cleanly or if I need to go through and fix stuff. Uh, so I do all my narration. You can do a narration in um, in Corel, but it, you don't really get a lot of tools like you do with Audacity, which is right here. Usually I have it on one monitor and the video on the other, 
but we'll try and do this dual monitor. My one complaint about uh, Corel is you actually can't minimize or you know go smaller. It has to be RAM maximized. So that's it, my one complaint about it. It's a pretty big one though. So basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start the recording, and then I'm going to start the video, and I'm going to do my best to narrate along to the video. It's gonna I'm going to have to restart a lot, and I'm going to be very stumbly through my words, but it'll give me an idea of what kind of stuff I need to say, what kind of stuff I don't have time to say, um, and what kind of stuff I need to trim down in the video. So let's get that started. Hey guys! Today's, today's tip's going to have to do with inscription. Now, a lot of people use Dust of Disappearance. It's the thing that uh, anyone over level 80 needs to switch their glyphs. And you usually would buy it from a vendor. You can buy it from about, for about 10 gold from any vendor. It would be down to 850 with your maxed guild perk. But still, 8 gold, 50 silver is quite a bit to be paying for a vendor item that you can often need multiple of on every raid. But you can come over here to this vendor and go ahead and see what he sells. And there's the Dust of Disappearance there on the first page. I'm not in a guild. I'm not in a max level guild on this character, so it's going to be 10 gold for me. And most players would pay this without blinking an eye. The thing is, they can get it cheaper, and you know what? You're, they're going to get it cheaper because you're going to sell it to them. So we're going to go check out the auction house here, and we'll see how much this dust is going for on my auction house. I like this tip because it has nothing to do with the glyphs, you rarely have to camp it, and most players really do think they're getting a good deal. And honestly, they are. They pay less than they usually do. And you're getting a good sale. So let's go ahead and see how much it's going for on my server now. We're looking at Dust of Disappearance at 7 gold on my server right now. So right now, that's 3 gold underneath the vendor price, but still, 7 gold piece is... Uh, a good sa a good savings for your average player and a pretty good price for the player who's selling it. Now, why would I buy these for 10 gold a piece and resell them? Well, we're not going to buy them off the vendor, of course. A lot of people have overlooked the fact that scribes can make these uh, ink these dust themselves just by using one black vowel ink per three dust of disappearance. So, what we're going to do is we're going to need to buy some black vowel ink. Okay, I need to cut this part down. So we open up our inscription, uh, type in Dust of Disappearance, and there it is. One black foul ink will make three Dust of Disappearance. So in other words, that translates into one black foul ink is worth 21 gold on my server right now. So let's go ahead and hit Destroying in TSM. Hit the Milling button there. Choose what you want. We're going to want a common ink, and we want black foul ink specifically, and click Search. This is going to search for every item that can be milled down into a into black fallow ink so that we can definitely know that we're getting the cheapest price for the black fallow ink that we're buying. I've got a little bit of cinder bloom here that I can buy for under six gold per black fallow ink. So in other words what I'm doing is I'm turning six gold into 21 gold right now. And even more because I'm also going to get inferno ink out of this which is just pure profit on top of this dust. And all the dust themselves are almost pure profit as well. So we go to the bank or go to the mailbox Open the mail. This needs to be shortened. Open up Panda and mill down all the herbs we got. So I spent just over 50 gold on herbs. And I'm going to end up with enough to make... need to do the math there. So then we're going to turn all of the pigments into ink, and then we're going to turn all the ink into disappear dust of disappearance. This definitely needs to be shortened. Mm -hmm. 
Once the dust is all created, you're going to go ahead and just put it right back on the auction house. Now, I already have it in TSM list, and I post it in stacks of three. You can post it in singles, fives, tens, twenties, whatever you'd like. I like to post in stacks of three, because I know that personally, when I usually swap glyphs, that's about how many I'm swapping at a time for any given boss encounter. And also, it's just a pretty good number. Not a lot of people need a whole stack, but a lot of people need more than one. So I like to sell them in stacks of three. So, like I said, I spent 50, I spent 50 gold on the dust, and I posted auctions worth, insert amount that I posted auctions for here. Okay. Okay, live stream folks, so that was the first recording of narration, and I usually don't record narration too many times, but that first run through basically just gives me an idea of, you know, what parts seem like they're lasting too long, what parts I'm going to need to make sure I don't talk a whole lot in. So, that one I had plenty to say. There was a part here somewhere. I do think that I could actually have sped this bit up a little bit. Or trimmed it, I guess it's the beginning, so I might as well just trim it. Split clip. Split clip. Bring that down. Blah, blah, blah. Look, here it is on the vendor. Let's run out the auction run over to the auction house really quick. Where's the part where I get off my mount? Come on. Split clip. This one's playback speed should be 175%. That should shorten the video a bit. Because they don't need talking while I'm flying. Let's check out the auction house. As you can see, here it is for seven gold apiece, thus giving Blackfell ink a price of 21 gold per ink. So let's go ahead and buy some ink. Wow, that's long. Okay, um... Might as well just keep all of that at 175. And uh, let me get chat back for the stream, folks. I like Panda a lot. Panda is very nice. I highly recommend it. This part all seemed pretty smooth in narration. Okay, this part needs to be sped up. Starting right here, all the way till I finished milling and turning into ink. Playback speed 200%. Okay, so now the video's gone from being five minutes long to three and a half minutes long. Hello, Kurokawa. Anyways, let's... Keep this going on. Oh, I was heard about yesterday. Excellent. 
Out of curiosity, I'm new to I'm new on Twitch TV Kurokawa. Do you know why your name is black and everyone else has the pastels and everything? Out of curiosity. Possibly, I, d I have made some videos about TSM. And if you don't know why your name is black, that's just fine. I just was curious. If you knew why you were special. <laughs> what I'm actually doing right now, if you liked my videos, is I'm going through how I make my videos for WoW. So... Yeah, we all do get to choose colors, Jim, I know, but when I go in, black isn't an option. I don't know about you, but I don't even have black as an option. And so far, the only people I've ever seen who have black is Kurokawa and Tarfu. So, like, so I've never seen, like, black as an option for just us, us lowly normal users. Anyways. Ah, that's probably it then. Now we know. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm just going over how I make my WoW Gold Tip videos and basically giving a preview of the WoW Gold Tip that I, uh, that's going to be out. I just uh, totally lost my train of thought when I saw a black name. I'm like, the moderators are after me because up on the screen's Corel Video Studio instead of WoW, even though I'm in the WoW channel. <laughs> so, let's see here. Okay, so I just trimmed down the video to, to hopefully be the correct length this time, or closer to the correct length. So now I'm going to narrate it once more, uh, well, probably more than once more, but I'm going to narrate it again. This time I want it a lot more polished, and it should fit out fit a little bit better with what's going on, with what's going on in the video. Sorry about that. So let's get Audacity up here. I don't use DX Story. I've heard of it once, but I don't know what it is at all. Yay! I'm glad to s I'm glad to hear that that butters stuff. Uh, I've I've heard a lot of good feedback about the transmog lists, and also um, if you if you have time to go thank and other people, be sure to hit up Keel Hall, Far Luau, and Epic Penny Pouch because the idea for the list essentially came from them. I just trimmed it down and ported it into an easily used. Uh, importable list. So, tr credit goes to them. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> um, here we go. So, I'm going to try narrating a new narrating the next phase of this. Uh, okay, so I need audacity. Hi guys. This video is about inscription, but it's useful for every character to know about. Blech, not character player. You'll notice that this one's a lot more. I'll read. I'll start over a lot more now that I'm not doing the first run through. Also, this seems really loud for being at forty percent volume. Maybe it's just because my speakers are turned all the way up. Uh, yeah, I just use XSplit. I'll have to. I mean, I've heard DX Story before in combination with XSplit, so I'll have to find out what it does. But I just use XSplit. Yes. Okay, let's try this again. Oops, go back. Hi guys, today's tip's largely about inscription, but it's useful to know for every player. Basically, this is about Dust of Disappearance. Dust of Disappearance is an item that anyone level 81 plus needs to switch out any glyph. So, people can often use multiple in any given raid night, and these items, most people will buy from the vendor. Inscription supply vendors sell these, you'll see them on Stanley McCormick's page here, on page 1, for 10 gold. With the maxed guild perk, it's 8 gold, 50 silver, I believe. So, it's not too much, but it adds up for a player over time. Now, most players are generally okay with paying the vendor prices, but what a lot don't know is that you can actually buy it cheaper on the auction house. So let's go ahead, head over to my auction house, and see how much it's going for. And no, this isn't just me saying it's cheaper on the auction house. Don't worry, there's a tip here. So let's check Dust of Disappearance, and we're looking at 7 gold per dust. So it's definitely a savings off the vendor value, but how are we going to profit off this? It's not like we're going to go buy stuff off the vendor and sell it. Well, we're going to make some. 
A lot of players overlook the fact that scribes actually make Dust of Disappearance. Dust of Disappearance is crafted with one black fallow ink, and with that you can make three Dust of Disappearance, essentially giving every black fallow ink on my server a, a value of 21 gold apiece. So let's go ahead and check out the auction house and get us some black fallow ink and craft some Dust of Disappearance. So go to TSM, hit Destroying on the left, then hit Milling, then on this first checkbox hit Common Ink, and then on this second drop down box hit Black Fallow Ink and Search. What this is doing now is it's searching the auction house for anything that can be milled into Black Fallow Ink so that we can make this Dust of Disappearance. This will assure we pay the best price for our Dust of Disappearance. So there's some cheap Cinder Bloom here that I'm paying for under 6 gold. I'm paying under 6 gold per... I'm paying under 6 gold per ink for this Black Fallow Ink. So I'm going to go ahead and buy all that out and then we're going to turn it into dust. So let's go turn that into dust. We're going to pull it out of the mail, mill it down, and dust it up, I suppose would be the term. Um, the, the other great thing about this is that you get a lot of Inferno ink out of it if you're doing this a lot, which is also just extra. You can make it into Dark Moon cards, you can make it into Royal Scribe Satchels, you can sell it raw. There's a lot of good uses for Inferno ink, so that's also just an added little benefit to this. So I spent 56 gold on black fallow ink, well on the herbs that will mill into black fallow ink, and once we've got it turned into dust, we'll go post it back on the auction house. Now my favorite thing to do here is bark this, because like I said, a lot of players don't know that this can be bought on the auction house for less than they'd buy from the vendor. So after I put it up, I'll usually bark saying, dust of disappearance on the auction house now for less than vendor price, go snag it now, also selling in bulk, or something like that. And then I post auctions once I've got it all crafted. And I'm going to end up posting auctions worth about 129 gold. So I tripled my gold just by turning it into Dust of Disappearance, an item every player needs. Well, I should say every player over 81, which is quite a few players. So I hope that helped you guys out. Uh, if the video did, or if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a great day, guys. That was actually pretty good. Um... That'll, that's that's an interesting... I don't really know a lot about what that would exactly mean for how it works myself with the, the DX story. Of, I'm, I don't know if I'm even saying that right. DX Troy? I don't know. But um, uh, the thing is, I don't really have a, frame, a FPS loss. Um, I don't really worry too much about how much power my computer uses because I usually have plenty. But, I mean, it's certainly something that I wouldn't mind looking into. So I had a few stutters and stuff in the narration, but that can be fixed with editing. So the first thing I always do is select something in Audacity, hit Noise Removal, get Noise Profile, Noise Removal again, remove noise. Let's see here. Hi guys, today's tip's largely about inscription. So here's what I do to try and make it sound like everything's a little bit more polished and it makes me sound a little bit weird but I don't mind which is I go through and I edit out all of the bits where I take where I inhale because my inhales are very obvious and I know that I when I talk a lot I do sound out of breath and I'm not sure why because in real life sometimes I am but not usually <laughs> If I get really excited, then yeah, I, I might get out of breath, but not usually. But I think it's because the mic's so close to my mouth, because it's a headset mic, that it makes it sound a lot worse than it is. So that's why basically I, this. That's why I edit this stuff out by just copying over, copying silence over it. Not basically. Asking. This is about dust of disappearance. Dust of disappearance is an item that anyone level 81 plus needs to switch out any glyph. That was a breath. This also just seems to create a smoother audio, it, even though the pauses are still there. Glyph. They aren't as obvious because you don't hear that breath filling the space, so it makes them just sound a lot cleaner, which is why I like doing this, and it's not usually too difficult to visually 
pick out my breathing. Some of these are a bit tough. That's one. But sometimes if it's too close to a word, it's just easier to keep it in. Most people will buy from the vendor. See here, check this out. I just listened to some of these clips for forever, just being like, oh, I sound weird. I like to just change my voice drastically with like the different tools and stuff just for fun. Just, like make myself sound like a really deep voiced man and such. And this should be a breath. On Stanley yeah. McCormick's page. <sighs> On Stanley McCormick's page. Okay. Okay. So it's actually kind of interesting because someone the other day asked me how do I make videos so now I can show them exactly how I do it. Uh, though that wasn't the intent here but that will be cool too. That sounds important. That is not. That's not important. That's not important. I should like keep wow up at least <laughs> so that people don't come in and be like, this isn't wow. <laughs> this is on wow cataclysms. So there we go. Now there's wow in the background. I don't feel as bad. Okay, where was I? Aha, there I was. Um, I feel like I could make like a pretty awesome breath track just like me going <sighs> with all these damn like voice clips that I end up cutting out. <laughs> or just like the longest inhale like sound clip ever. I could just edit them all together and <laughs> oh that would must sound awesome. There might be a way to automatically do this, but I like to do it manually because the audio clips aren't actually that long, so it doesn't take too much effort to do this, and also that means there's no loss of anything that might actually be important. Let's make sure that meshed okay. Not play players overlook. Let's hear more context. A lot of players overlook the fact that sounds weird keep that breath in. One of the first, like one day I had like a really dry mouth. I don't know why. No, I wasn't doing drugs. But one day I had a really dry mouth which made it really obvious when you could like hear like my tongue in my mouth. Like I didn't notice it until someone pointed it out and now ever since it's all I can hear when I hear myself talk. So um, so I like cringe every time I notice it in these uh, audio recordings. And now I'm like always just drink, I'm constantly drinking. They drove me to drink, but now I'm constantly drinking water to try and avoid that in future videos. Woo! Crumpty, woo! Okay. And this is just the voice, not the voice, the breath editing. After this, I need to go through and actually listen to for the stumbles and stutters and corrections that I made and then remove those as well or fix them. The worst is having to actually, like, sometimes I'll, I'll listen to the, I'll hear that I miss said something, so I'll have to re-record. And it never meshes in very w perfectly, but, it, you know, it's just like getting it to sound decent enough. Usually it's like, wow, to say those three words, she sure got all excited all of a sudden because the inflection changes in my voice so much. Let's silence that.
of all the editing, this is actually the bit that takes the longest, is the audio. Because the video, generally speaking, I mean sometimes the video will take longer, but generally speaking for these shorter videos, the video is usually done in just one long take, and it's kind of hard to screw it up. So, the, usually the, the biggest thing I have to do is like maybe add in some arrows to help highlight something to click on or something on the screen. What is this noise? Okay, that's my voice, not a click. I don't know what auto I mean I've heard the term auto tuning but I've never done it and I don't know how and honestly I don't even know what it really is I just I know that on certain songs people complain wow you can really hear the auto tuning but other than that I don't know anything about auto tuning just extra can we get into dark moon that sounded a bit weird without that breath. Let's see here. You can usually tell if it's going to sound weird or not because the um, the audio waves will go completely flat and then there will be noise and then completely flat again. But if the, if the breath is like bumped up against more audio, usually it will sound weird if you remove it because usually that breath contains a little bit of a word. That's all. Let's get rid of that noise, whatever that was. That noise. Oh. It's like, it's like, is it like turning like audio files into music, like, like spoken word into music or something? Because I think, I, I remember like something like auto-tune the news or something was popular on YouTube for a while. I think they were the ones who did the, um, the hide your kids, hide your wife guy. I think that was some of it in the backing up, backing up. <laughs> That's, those are my two that I've actually seen that I enjoyed. Where do you think would be the best place to farm for infinite dust? Honestly, if you're going to actually farm for it, I would probably get on a tailor as well and farm mobs in, like, Ice Crown. Like, I personally like the Argent Tournament area. However, um, I think that the best bet is to actually buy, buy or farm Eternal Earth, turn it into jewel crafting rings like Stone Guard Bands, and DE those for infinite dust. Which is what I do if I really need infinite dust. Or something like that. And Let's see here. Get that out. Yeah, um, well, Marketeer has a good point too. You can shatter abyss crystals. I just almost always get cosmic essences from those myself. Which is fine, because usually I'm hoping for cosmic essences when I'm doing that. Because I actually, just from doing disenchant scans, uh, I tend to... Um, I tend to have enough infinite dust stockpiled to choke a horse, so I don't usually have to go looking for infinite dust. Um, there we go. And that can get edited out. This actually, I think this is like twice as long as most of my other tip videos. But it sh it's still pretty short. I should be able to upload it, no problem. Play Skyrim while it's uploading. Okay, so that's the initial breath removal. Uh, Bountiful Bags won't deal with crystals because you're not disenchanting something, you're creating something. So you, Bountiful Bags. Bountiful, bra bountiful bags shouldn't proc from abyss shatters. Okay, so now it's time to listen to the whole thing again, and um, if 
find the parts where I stumble and fix those. So let's listen to it again. So go to TSM, hit destroy. Oh, I didn't start on the, the left. Uh, do to do. Hmm. Hi guys, today's tip's largely about inscription, but it's useful to know for every player. Basically, this is about dust of disappearance. Dust of disappearance is an item that anyone level 81 plus needs to switch out any glyph. So, people can often use multiple in any given raid night. And these items, most people will buy from the vendor. Inscription supply vendors sell these. You'll see them on Stanley McCormick's page here on page 1 for 10 gold. With the maxed guild perk, it's 8 gold 50 silver, I believe. So, it's not too much, but it adds up for a player over time. Now, most players are generally okay with paying the vendor prices, but what a lot don't know is that you can actually buy it cheaper on the auction house. So let's go ahead, head over to my auction house, and see how much it's going for. And no, this isn't just me saying it's cheaper on the auction house. Don't worry, there's a tip here. So let's check dust of disappearance, and we're looking at 7 gold per dust. So it's definitely a savings off the vendor value, but how are we going to profit off this? It's not like we're going to go buy stuff off the vendor and sell it. Well, we're going to make some. A lot of players overlook the fact that scribes actually make dust of disappearance. Dust of Disappearance is crafted with one black fallow ink, and with that you can make three Dust of Disappearance, essentially giving every black fallow ink on my server a, a value of 21 gold apiece. I had a stutter there. A, a right there. Replace that with silence. Now does that sound okay? Let's back it up a little bit. Essentially giving every black fallow ink on my server a value of 21 gold apiece. So let's go ahead and check out the auction house and get us some black fellow ink and craft some dust of disappearance. So I need to edit out some of these long pauses. Not too badly, but some of these are just painful to listen to. I don't need to get rid of all of them, but some of them. Ugh. Oh, I'm paused, not stopped, that's why. Okay. Got an inscription, but it's you. Inscription, but it's useful to know for every player. Basically, this is about dust of disappearance. Dust of disappearance is an item that anyone level 81 plus needs to switch out any glyph. So any glyph. So people can. So, people can often use multiple in any, multiple in any given raid night. And these items, most and these items, most people will buy from the vendor. Inscription supply vendors sell these. You'll see them. You'll see them on Stanley McCormick's page here on page one for. here on page one for ten gold with the maxed guild perk perk it's eight gold fifty silver I believe so so it's not too much but it adds up for a player over time now most players are generally players are generally okay with paying the vendor prices But what a lot don't know is that you can actually buy it cheaper on the auction house. So let's go ahead, head over to my auction house, and see how much it's going for. And no, this isn't just me saying it's cheaper on the auction house. Don't worry, there's a tip here. Here. So let's check dust of disappearance, and we're looking at 7 gold per dust. So it's definitely a savings off the vendor value, but how are we going to profit off this? It's not like we're going to go buy stuff off the vendor and sell it. Well, we're going to make some. A lot of players... Make some. A lot of players overlook the. No, make some. A lot of players overlook the fact that scribes actually make dust of disappearance. Dust. Parents. Dust of disappearance is crafted with. Crafted with one black fallow ink and. With one black fallow ink and with that you can make three dust of disappearance. 
essentially giving every black appearance, essentially giving every black fallow ink on my server on my server a value of 20 god that's so like stuttery and pausy <laughs> um okay all right thank you for coming Elariel. i can't imagine this is super interesting for a million people but i figured i'd show you guys cuz someone was asking me about how i do this uh, a couple days ago but thank you for hopping in good luck and wow whatever you're up to Ink on my server, a value of 21 gold apiece. So, so let's go ahead and head and check out the auction house. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel about streams too. I'm just like, oh, I'll I'll, mo I'll moderately pay attention and in the meantime listen. You know, do my do my stuff. I'll be playing Minecraft Head or Skyrim or something. Check out the auction house and get us some Blackfellow ink and craft some dust of disappearance. So go to TSM, hit destroying on the left, then hit milling, then on this first checkbox hit common ink, and then on this second drop down box hit Blackfellow ink and search. What this is doing now is it's searching the auction house for anything that can be Good night, milled so into Blackfellow in. ink so that we can make this dust of disappearance. This will assure we pay the best price for our dust of disappearance. So there's some cheap cinder bloom here that I'm paying for under six gold. I'm paying under six gold per per incredibly long pause. <laughs> six gold per. I'm paying under six gold. gold per gold per I'm paying under 6 gold per I'm paying under 6 gold per ink for this black fallow ink Okay, let's make sure that mesh is okay cuz I had to edit some huge chunk out. But I'm paying for under 6 gold. I'm paying under 6 gold per ink. Ah, uh, so so stumbly right here. But I'm paying for under I'm paying Paying for oh, there's no like clean break there. I'll just have to have at least a little bit of stutter and oh well. Her ink human. for this black fellow ink. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy all that out, and then we're going to turn it into dust. So let's go turn that into dust. We're gonna pull it out of the mail, mill it down, turn that into dust. Um, turn that into dust and dust it up, I suppose would be the term. Just get rid of all that crap. Um, I don't need a long um for no reason. The The other great thing about this is that you get a lot of inferno ink out of it. Where was that? The, the, uh, yes. the other great thing about this is that you get a lot of inferno ink out of it. If you're doing this a lot, which is also just extra, you can make it into Dark Moon cards, you can make it into Royal Scribe Satchels, you can sell it raw. There's a lot of good uses for Inferno Ink, so... That's also just an added little benefit to this. So I spent 56 gold on Black Fallow. black fallow ink. Well, on the herbs that will mill into black fallow ink. And once we've got it turned into dust, we'll go post it back on the auction house. Now, my favorite thing to do here is bark this, because like I said, a lot of players don't know that this can be bought on the auction house for less than they'd buy from the vendor. House for less than they'd buy from the vendor. So after I put it up, I'll usually bark saying, Dust of Disappearance on the auction house now for less than vendor price. Go snag it now. Also selling in bulk, or something like that. And then I post auctions once I've got it all crafted. And I'm going to end up posting auctions worth about 129 gold. 
So I tripled my gold just by turning it into Dust of Disappearance, an item every player needs. Well, I should say every player over 81, which is quite a few players. So I hope that helped you guys out. Uh, if the video did, or if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a great day, guys. Okay, so... There's the narration. So this will be called... Dust Narration. And now, I check it against another mp3 to make sure the audio sounds like it's at the right level. Hi guys, today's tip's largely about an inscription, but it's useful to know for every player. And the way I check it is I check it against a, a recording of the Powered Gold podcast, in which I was also talking, because that will give me my voice, but with someone else's volume regulation. So, that's why I do that. Teach myself how to, you know, all about building shopping lists. What? Sounds about right. Okay. So, where did chat go? There it is. Okay. Um, so now the audio is done. So now we import the audio. Come on. Dust narration goes into the audio files. And now because of all the stuff I edited out of the audio, I need to revisit the length of the video and possibly speed up or slow things down. Which I will do shortly. Make sure everything lines up now, which it won't, so it's time to start editing stuff around. Hi guys, today's tip's largely about an inscription, but it's useful to know for every player. Basically, this is about Dust of Disappearance. Dust of Disappearance is an item that anyone level 81 plus needs to switch out any glyph. So, people can often use multiple in any given raid night. And these items, most people will buy from the vendor. Inscription supply vendors sell these. You'll see them on Stanley McCormick's page here on page 1 for 10 gold. With the maxed guild perk, it's 8 gold, 50 silver, I believe. So, it's not too much, but it adds up for a player over time. Now, most players are generally okay with paying the vendor prices, but what a lot don't know is that you can actually buy cheaper on the auction house. So, let's go ahead, head over to my auction house, and see how much it's going for. And no, this isn't just me saying it's cheaper on the auction house. Don't worry, there's a tip here. So let's check dust of disappearance, and we're looking at 7 gold per dust. So it's definitely a savings off the vendor value, but how are we going to profit off this? It's not like we're going to go buy stuff off the vendor and sell it. Well, we're going to make some. A lot of players overlook the fact that scribes actually make dust of disappearance. Dust of disappearance is crafted with one black fallow ink, and with that you can make three dust of disappearance, essentially giving every black fallow ink on my server a value of 21 gold apiece. So let's go ahead and check out the auction house and get us some black fallow ink and craft some dust of disappearance. So go to TSM, hit... Okay, this is where I need to start syncing up the audio a little bit better. So let's try having this things playback speeds 180 175 let's try 185 first off let's see if the bit that we were looking at syncs up properly now and some black fellow ink and crafts and dust of disappearance so go to TSM hit destroying on the left then okay, it needs to be a little bit faster playback speed I'm sure there's a better way to do this but this is what's worked for me so far and that's why videos tend to have some kind of random speeds, but this is just hard to trim out random bits. And check out the auction house and get us some black fellow ink and craft some dust of disappearance. So go to TSM, hit destroying on the left, then hit milling. Okay, need to sped up by a little bit more. Yeah, I've already went over that. The vo the audio recording inside of my video software is not um is not as good as Audacity. It, it like cuz I mean, the whole I just spent tons of time going through and editing the audio files, which um if I if I record them in my video recording or editing software, I can't do because the quality that they produce is much lower than what Audacity produces. Ooh. 
Best of Disney. And that's actually how I narrated it already, is narrating while the video plays. So I did that earlier in the recording. Where was I? Oh yeah, I was trying to make sure that that syncs up properly. I just need TSM to be close. The auction house. And get us some black fellow and you can craft some dust of disappearance. So go to TSM, hit destroying on the left, then hit milling. Then on this first checkbox, hit co tiny bit faster, just a tiny bit. How fast is this? Playback speed. Let's have that be a tiny bit faster and that might do it. Uh, the software that I'm using right now is Corel Video Video Corel Video Pro, Video Studio Pro X3. Uh, most of my videos are recorded in Fraps, and uh, Audacity is the program that I use to edit audio, which is this one. Check out the auction house and get us some black fellow, and you can craft some dust of disappearance. So go to TSM, hit Destroying on the left, then hit Milling, then on this first checkbox hit Common Ink. Okay, that is lined up perfectly, so now let's just make sure that my speeding up of the previous clips didn't throw anything off. Here over time. Now most players are generally okay with paying the vendor prices, but what a lot don't know is that you can actually buy cheaper on the auction house. So let's go ahead, head over to my auction house, and see how much it's going for. And no, this isn't just me saying it's cheaper on the auction house. Don't worry, there's a tip here. So let's check Dust of Disappearance, and we're looking at 7 gold per dust. So it's definitely a savings off the vendor value, but how are we going to profit off this? It's not like we're going to... Okay, so that is good. Everything lines up okay there. So... So go to TSM, hit Destroying on the left, then hit Milling, then on this first checkbox hit Common Ink, and then on this second drop-down box, hit Black Fellow Ink and search. What this is doing now is it's searching the auction house for anything that can be milled into Black Fellow Ink so that we can make this Dust of Disappearance. This will assure we pay the best price for our Dust of Disappearance. So there's some cheap Cinder Bloom here that I'm paying for under 6 gold. I'm paying under 6 gold per ink for this Black Fellow Ink. So I'm going to go ahead and buy all that out, and then we're going to turn it into dust. So let's go turn that into dust. The other great thing about this is that you get a lot of Inferno ink out of it if you're doing this a lot, which is also just extra. You can make it into Dark Moon cards, you can make it into Royal Scribe Satchels, you can sell it raw. There's a lot of good use. I need to back that up and mark a spot. Turn it into dust. So let's go turn that into dust. Right there is where I need to mark it. Okay. Continuing on to this. So I spent 56 gold on black fallow ink, <coughs> well on the herbs that Excuse will me. mill into black fallow ink, and once we've got it turned into dust, we'll go <coughs> post it back on the auction house. Again. Now my favorite thing to do here is bark this, because like I said, a lot of players don't know that this can be bought on the auction house for less than they buy from the vendor. So after I put it up, I'll usually bark saying, dust of disappearance on the auction house now for less than vendor price, go snag it now, also selling in bulk, or something like that. And then I post auctions once I've got it all crafted. And I'm going to end up posting on. Okay, and so I want to shorten that. So let's try getting that to playback speed 300%. And, uh, split clip. I can't picture what knee breaker boots look like, Crempty. I'll have to look them up in a minute. They sound familiar. Go so, turn that into dust. The other great thing about this is that you get a lot of Inferno ink out of it, if you're doing this a lot, which is also just extra. You can make it into Dark Moon cards, you can make it into Royal Scribe Satchels, you can sell it raw. There's a lot of good uses for Inferno ink, so that's also just an added little benefit to this. So I spent 56 gold on Black Fallow ink, well on the herbs that will mill into Black Fallow ink, and once we've got it turned into dust, we'll go post it back on the auction house. Now, my favorite thing to do here is bark this, because like I said, a lot of players don't know that this can be bought on the auction house for less than they'd buy from the vendor. So after I put it up, I'll usually bark, saying, Dust of Disappearance uh. on the auction house now for less than vendor price. Go snag it now. Also selling in bulk, or something like that. And then I post auctions once I've got it all crafted. 
And I'm going to end up posting auctions worth about 129 gold. So I tripled my gold just by turning it into Dust of Disappearance, an item every player needs. Well, I should say every player over 81, which is quite a few players. So I hope that helped you guys out. Uh, if the video did, or if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a great day, guys. Ta-da! Video. So now we make sure all of my transitions went okay, because sometimes I forget to put in transitions, which make the video look very clunky. But I've got them all in, so the video is done. So now we save it and then upload it to YouTube. Right, video file, and since it has some TSM settings, I do want to do it in high def. Upload it as dust tip. And so it renders now. So now that will render, and I'll put it up on YouTube. There's really not much more to say. Uh, I put in a little annotation over that click here to subscribe button, so it turns it into an actual subscribe button. Um, I put in a description, and I completely whore myself out on Twitter about the videos. So that's pretty much it. Um, I highly doubt it, but are there any questions? Um, that's how I do it. <laughs> I just, if anyone does have any questions, you're welcome to ask them. I know that it's not necessarily the most efficient way to make videos. Um, I, I don't pretend that I'm very good at editing videos. I essentially, like, I have the content to make good videos, I just don't really have the editing skill. And that's kind of okay with me because I'm more about the content than how flashy it looks. I know a lot of people just love flashy videos, which is cool, good for them. I like looking at flashy videos, but for me I'm just more worried about making sure that the content's there and that it's correct. And if my video looks a little bit clunky, that's okay. And I'm, I'm improving as I go on, too. Uh, I need 300 infinite dust help. Uh, and how much is, uh, did you, ch did you check out how much eternal earth was on your, eternal and crystallized earth was on your server? Let's see here. When in doubt, wowhead. Infinite dust. Let's see if we can find a really good farming spot in the comments. Comments on Wowhead are the awesomest. So Abyss Crystals were already mentioned, of course. Um, this guy says farm Nax 25, though honestly there's... Well, I guess Nax 25 would give you more Abyss Crystals because it's more loot. But basically if you can get some friends, do Nax 25 and shatter all the Abyss Crystals. Tailoring item, uh, Dusk Weave Belt is the most efficient tailoring item to DE for infinite dust. Yeah, the Earth the Earth was really great for infinite dust in Wrath of the Lich King, but now Eternal Earth's rare enough. If you were on Argent Dawn, I could give you a ton of Eternal Earth. I've got it all sitting around. <laughs> um, let's see here. Because I know that infinite dust is hard to get, because that's why I'm able to charge so much for it. <laughs> So, I'm um, killing converted heroes and ice crown sucked for me. I farmed them for 20 minutes and got several grays, 75 frost weave cloth. That was nice. And one green, which DE'd into a greater cosmic essence. Uh, so, yeah, there's blacksmithing items, maybe. If cobalt is cheap, you could do make some blacksmithing items. Leather working items, so I highly doubt leather's cheap. I'm quite sure tailoring wouldn't be cheap because frost weave is at a premium on most servers. I don't even know what that means at a premium. I could have totally just used that term incorrectly. Um Have you tried barking and trade? I know it sounds dumb, but maybe some people have some sitting around. Once this thing's done rendering, it'll start auto-playing, so if my voice suddenly starts 
If there suddenly start being two fade voices, that's why. I need to go in and start organizing some of my videos a little bit better. Twitter. <laughs> Artificial vendor price. Whose post is this? Oh, Gimp. Yay, Gimp. Hey, my video got linked. Neat. Oh, video's done rendering. Can I remember when I started my blog? Um, I should be able to. Let me go back in. Check. Bet you didn't know Nerf Fades was on WordPress for first, huh? WordPress Fade Engineering. I know the post was about engineering, so... I gotta find it, though. Assuming I didn't delete it. Fade. <laughs> I like the fade why engineering pops up. That's my crying thread on the forums about how engineering sucks. Oh, there it is right there. Fade why engineering. So if you ever want a good read, <laughs> you can go to the forums and see me whine about engineering in my walls of text that took up multiple posts. So there you go. Um, yeah, I wasn't like... Uh, I'm not making 90k off white linen shirts. Not looking at Gimp's blog ever again. Um. Um. I don't like it. It's so old, but I can definitely go back to my first blog spot one. In fact, my first blog spot post will link to my my first. What's it called? Post. My first blogspot post was in October of 2010. It was called Moving In, October 1st, 2010. I guess I didn't link to my WordPress one, but yeah, t October 2010. Um, de depends on what you refer to as auto prospecting. Nothing will automatically prospect everything for you unless you're doing something that violates the terms of service. Currently, right now, there's no way to auto prospect without violating the terms of service. Um, if you, by that you mean you can go away from your computer and everything will you'll come back and everything's prospected. Um, but it, what it does do is it creates a button that you well actually for prospecting it doesn't even do that. It just gives you a button you can click to prospect really and mill and disenchant that kind of stuff. Um, Okay, so the video's finished rendering, so now we watch it before we upload it, just in case we find some weird errors in it. Hi guys, today's tip's largely about inscription, but it's useful to know for every player. Will see Basically, it like that. this is about dust of disappearance. Dust of disappearance is an item that anyone level 81 plus needs to switch out any glyph. So, people can often use multiple in any given raid night. And these items, most people will buy from the vendor. Inscription supply vendors sell these. You'll see them on Stanley McCormick's page here on page 1 for 10 gold. With the maxed guild perk, it's 8 gold, 50 silver, I believe. So, it's not too much, but it adds up for a player over time. Now, most players are generally okay with paying the vendor prices, but what a lot don't know is that you can actually buy it cheaper on the auction house. So, let's go ahead, head over to my auction house, and see how much it's going for. And no, this isn't just me saying it's cheaper on the auction house. Don't worry, there's a tip here. So let's check dust of disappearance, and we're looking at 7 gold per dust. So it's definitely a savings off the vendor value, but how are we going to profit off this? It's not like we're going to go buy stuff off the vendor and sell it. Well, we're going to make some. A lot of players dust of disappearance. This will be an auction house for less than they buy from the vendor. So after I put it up, I'll usually bark saying, Dust of disappearance on the auction house now for less than vendor price. Go snag it now. Also selling in bulk, or something like that. And then I post auctions once I've got it all crafted. And I'm going to end up posting auctions worth about 129 gold. So I tripled my gold just by turning it into dust of dis every player need. Okay, so I know you guys said you were lagging, but oh, duh. I probably shouldn't be downloading Mass Effect 3's demo, should I? 
and we can exit fraps okay so the video is done so now it's just ready to be uploaded to YouTube that will definitely make the stream lag out so I'm gonna go ahead and quit streaming at least for now um, thanks for watching how I make how I make my gold tip videos um, if you have any questions about that you're always welcome to contact me about it, them uh, if you have any suggestions I'm generally open to hearing about them though understand that I can't exactly buy fancy software on my lack of a budget <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm always interested in hearing about things things that I can do to improve my videos uh, either in content or quality so uh, thanks for watching the stream guys I don't really know the best way to end a stream cuz uh, yeah so I'm just going to end the broadcast here sometime soon